Hello everyone, E here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. Here's the castle over here and as usual a pretty big mess around the desk and this is what the situation is right now. As you might notice, it actually looks a bit different compared to last time. Why is that? Because they had to rebuild it yet again from scratch. I'm going to explain to you that and more in just a few seconds. So, I have mounted everything on this separate base plate as it makes it a lot easier to build and also a lot easier to explain. Let's start with the obvious. It does look a bit different. It turns out that what I was doing last time, although it had a lot of things that were going for it, it had a problem that I just couldn't really solve. And that's the top side. Quick reminder, I used basically this technique here, using a brick and then using these two different brother and sister kind of brackets in order to place the window frames sideways and have this like so all the way up here and my idea was for the last brick over here to be a brick with a snot something like like uh, so maybe like this no yeah something like this so if we have something like this up here my plan was to connect every single one here 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 with these that are facing upwards turns out that i just couldn't figure out how to do that you couldn't really place one brick like this in any way even after using um all sorts of different pieces to kind of cheat the one stud math it just doesn't work to place them like this and that was all very sad because everything else here was calculated so that actually made me think again and i basically started from scratch and here is what i figured out now i decided to use basically a whole bunch of these initially and place them over here instead of the pillars so instead of this I use this over here but then you have the problem of two of these they don't really correspond with the brackets see this can't really go like this on these two it's just the distance is different so that was out of the way so then I thought I should use basically a different piece rather than this I should use these pieces because this is exactly what you need to attach these so in order to continue I switched the window frames a little bit forwards and then I have one row basically one column of these to the front then we have one of the brackets let's say this one the up to downwards one on one side and then I use the I use the bracket basically to attach the frame. So what basically happens is you have one piece and then you use for example the up to down bracket and then you have another one behind with the other piece basically being attached to it like so and you place it behind except you need to place a, another row of plate over here 
in order to cover the distance of these three studs. So you take this, right? And you take one row and then you place this on top, right? And then you can do this. Obviously this doesn't stay still because over here in the middle there is a stud, but if there isn't, it is actually proper. And then this one is mirrored exactly, stays like this. And this stud here corresponds with this stud perfectly. So that is what the central pillars are, essentially. And that way, it's actually very, very sturdy. Then the next problem was really how to fix this whole side here and make the windows correspond in a 90 degrees shape. And at the same time, they need to correspond in a way so you can connect everything here. You need to understand the uh, the way it is here, now let me remove just these plates that I've used. See, this is what the angle looks like. At the top, you have this weird composition that doesn't really, you can't really do anything with it. I mean, right now it actually works, but before I just had to figure out exactly how to make these studs here align as a normal brick can really attach them all and this is actually not really part of it this is just a filler that i used with these uh one by one bricks with snots on both sides because without them you actually now this is probably gonna fall down maybe not you actually have this gap here between the border of uh, this window and this window here the side and if you cover it and it leaves kind of a weird angle so i use these here just to cover it so i'll be able to put texture in the end but anyway what's going on here is we have the same piece so i use probably like 150 of these where is it there it is of this thing it turns out it's very useful so i use the whole column of these then we have the brackets and then on the other side it turns out that it would be best to attach this border here this way and the math would pan out and this whole side can be covered with these eventually, so it's not going to be really noticeable. Overall, I'm really happy that I managed to do this finally. It was a big challenge to have the math pan out here and to have everything symmetrical. There is no strain on the pieces now and to be able to make this whole construction using a not very standard spacing and be able to standardly connect it on top. The real problem was to have this whole construction and then to be able to build on top of it to make it sturdy and also to be able to connect everything together from here on out because this whole thing needs to be, well, removable. I need to be able to pick it up and move it and connect it here without it falling apart in my hands. On this side, I have not yet placed the window, so I might as well show you how exactly it will go. Over here, this is for support of the rest of the pieces. Now this pillar here with the windows will go on this stud, and then we'll have this ugly pillar here just to fill this gap. It will be like so. So I can cover it with texture and then the last um, border here of the frame that will be on its own 
will be connected over here similar to this one in the uh, corner uh, you might wonder why I have these here basically another row of tan on both sides because unless they are placed you can see the holes here in this way it's a lot more immersive there is still a little bit of spacing but that really can't be fixed because spacing here is half a plate but that's fine so with that out of the way i'm going to connect this and continue building upwards and see how far i get before my time runs out well here it is 50 or maybe even 60 hours later I've really been pushing myself lately late nights but this is the result of all my hard work for the past couple of days and I am really really satisfied actually with what the final result is the final result is this very sturdy and very well nicely looking piece that can easily be picked up and slotted in into the castle without worrying that it would actually fall apart which was my main concern when building this as the old doors that were two doors separate I like this one which is one piece even they weren't so sturdy and I had problems with them falling apart but this way it really really works and I can pick this up I can shake it I can jump with it I tried and it doesn't fall apart the only the only issue really only well not really issue but concern is this part here now I have placed this these bricks here so with uh, the weight is supported while I'm showing it to you but if this is placed in the castle and for example I see that I need to apply some pressure here obviously when it's positioned there is no support here so if I really shove it in downwards it will come apart um, I actually tried once uh, basically with this thing standing here and I pressed on top with just holding here and everything slumped down basically uh, so that's the only thing but other than that it's totally fine and I will use this opportunity to show you what's happening in the back and it's pretty much the same first row of cover that goes alongside with the interior now I've left this one here to remind me that I might be trying something different. Now initially this goes up to here-ish um, and maybe I will do some interior decorations later on like putting some banners here and here maybe hiding this in a way with more tiles or some patterns we'll see but this is just uh, for the time being once I'm really focused on the interior here Obviously, I need to fix these, etc., etc. And once I get to that, I will do some improvements on the inside, hiding this in some way, and obviously creating an archway here on the inside of the window panels, similar to what I did over here. Now, the thing as one solid piece is attached by these two clips and these two clips which correspond to down here and up here and that is very much enough strong enough to support the weight and also not too difficult to remove i can easily do it with two hands what i usually do is i grab it here and i pull downwards first and then up or the other way around doesn't really matter now before I actually slot this in and show it to you on the castle itself 
a few remarks. Now, I managed to place these here to correspond with these over there, just so they look the same. Now, the only problem is I can't really do this on the lower row because obviously I can place the same piece here, but over here there is no stud. And I'm exploring ways to using brackets here from up to from down to up rather, but it will have a half a plate distance. So it will probably not look very well and most likely to be like this for the time being. And the other thing, initially I was planning to use actually these one by one bricks that I've used here to add texture to the site as well to cover the gap here between this pillar and this pillar. But obviously the spacing is different. So I ended up using these pieces again, but just applying them like one like this and then the top one like this, 90 degrees and just, then just crisscrossing. So I can use these plates here. And once I place the final details of the texture so it looks like this it will be really merging now this way obviously they're the same level and over here it's just one plate forwards which will also be fine otherwise these studs here would not have been the same um, altitude or height compared to this row it would have been it would have worked but this way it's actually better and it's obviously attached here by one plate and up here as well. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And yeah, this is actually really, really nice what I've done. Now let's place this thing over there and say a few more words. Yeah, doing this with uh, one hand wasn't a good idea. So I've attached it on the bottom and now it just needs to slot in on the top. There we go. And now I need to add the rock cover, which I have modified slightly just so it corresponds with the texture here. It hides where there is no texture, goes around it, and there is some texture behind it, but it manages to slot in perfectly like it was before. And finally, to add these two trays. That complete the look. They also have a little bit of rock work on them. And you might notice actually that there is this whole row of black tiles that I've placed all around here. So let's have a little overview of what's been done. And here it is, the whole thing placed. And that's what it looks like with everything there. This thing is now a little bit better with the smooth tiles. I have changed here the steps with uh, the newest design and these ones that are sticking will be not so noticeable with the final layer of texture. Compared to the initial design, I made it a little bit forwards and two studs in order to add this detail here. Otherwise I couldn't as these pillars were inside. And obviously all the damaged portions were done in a way so they completely fit with the ones that are created in the pillars. And up here I've added a few more as well. One of the things that I added in the end was to change these pieces here so there are some more texture to the sides otherwise it looked a little bit weird. And the shape here of the tower is also a little bit changed, but the tower will probably change a little bit too. We'll see if I change it too much or I just add a little bit of texture. 
And yeah, this is what it looks like. Actually, a lot of building went into this compared to last time. Really pleased with the windows here and the frame and everything fitting out. Over here, I tried different things as well. Made this a little bit taller by one brick and a little bit thicker. Just to support this new thickness here. But yeah. It's uh, really shaping up now. Almost everything on this building is transformed. Obviously over here, the final layers need to be added. I do need a few, well, a few, few hundred more like it. Pyramid shapes like this one. I don't have any right now, but I have some in the mail, a few hundred. Probably will not be enough, but um, it will get me started now what's going on next i feel like it should be over here and i'm decided to start from bottom to top so usually i will i should probably start over here and the last one will be this that i will be transforming into the new texture clearly these windows need to be like these windows but it will it's something that takes so much time, but initially I thought it would be an interesting venture to transform everything and to change the texture. I didn't think it would take this long, but hey, I feel like it's totally worth it. It looks really pleasing to the eye. So in the end, it will be really nice to see the whole thing transform now this building is probably the last thing i will do uh transformation wise after all this is done and this is the thing that i will do last i feel like there will be quite a few difficulties there before i move on to something new uh but yeah over here shouldn't be too difficult there isn't all that much outer walls compared to here so less pieces involved i just stepped on something but yeah we can actually turn the lights on and turn the lights off and yeah here it is Looks pretty well. The back side is also lit up. On the side too. Very, very pleasing. And that's it pretty much. The past several days have been pretty taxing on my time. So I feel like I need a little bit of a break from Lego. But in two weeks I will be back with another update as usual. And not really sure what I'll be showing you then. But I'm pretty certain I will find something productive to do whenever my burnout from this whole thing recovers and disappears. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, leave a like and share your thoughts in the comment section. The channel is approaching 500 subscribers. As usual, all my gratitude uh, is extended towards you for really supporting me and appreciating what I'm doing and finding it interesting. So with that out of the way, happy building. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.